Hi guys, so today, as promised, I've got the giant sheep let's build, and this is just something that I was kind of doing for fun, decided to record it, and I thought it was kind of cool, so I decided to release it for you guys, along with the pig that I already released earlier, and so, this right now, obviously I did a little bit of groundwork, I raised right where I want the legs to be by one block, and so I'm going around, you know, just building the legs, and I used brown wool, because I think it looks better than wood. Most people use just wood planks. And that's because it is a lighter brown. I just don't like how the light brown wood looks. I think that with the solid texture of the dark brown wool, it looks a lot better. And then, of course, the sheep aren't one solid part for the entire leg. It's half brown wool. And then one block wider is white wool. And that's the top half. So you'll see me going around right now. Just filling in that little top half white wool part. And I want to take this time while I'm doing this to tell you guys that I will also be doing Let's Builds, uh, these same kind of things, along with a couple other different things, GTA, uh, Toy Soldiers, Cold War, and a few other games on a new channel. It's called Gamers Rising. I encourage you guys to check it out. We launch next week. Uh, I will be doing Let's Builds, and then again, I will obviously be doing other videos along with it which we already made a few. It's going to be a lot of fun. I think you guys will really enjoy it. So I encourage you guys to go check out that channel. Uh, right now, you know, I just checked a sheep. And so now I'm just filling it in, making sure I've got the bottom of the body. And then I believe what I do next is I'm going to move on to the face and the head and just the front in general. And this is the part that's really 100% has to be perfectly accurate. So you might see me looking back at my computer a little bit I have this sped up so it's not going to be too long of a pause. Um, obviously you can't do something this big in so f or such a small amount of time. And of course right here I am looking at the computer. It's really confusing actually because the sheep has three pink blocks in the middle. And that really threw me for a while. It's also got a very different setup where the face is a little bit further out than the head itself. That's not really normal with the Minecraft animals in general. So this one actually threw me for quite a loop, um, which is why it's sped up, is because obviously, you know, you guys don't want to just see me sitting there thinking myself and wondering what I'm doing. So right here, you know, just filling it in. So now I've got the face done, the front is done, then you just want to fill in the top of the body, and you're just going to go around filling in the body. And this is really simple, really fast. A kindergartner could probably do this if you showed them how to do the controls. It's not hard at all. So, you just gotta go around, fill everything in. And then, of course, you wanna get the back of the head. And it does go onto the body partially, so you gotta make sure that you line that up right. And then right there, you know, obviously you want the noise of the animal inside the animal. Because that just gives it an added part uh, realism. I did this with the pigs, I've done this with all my other Let's Builds, and all my future ones as well, because I've already got a few of those ready to go. So you guys will probably see some more of those coming out soon. But you obviously want the animals in there, just so that you get the animal noise, and that way it gives it a little bit of added realism. You can kind of hear the sheep and it seems more lifelike, rather than just seeing this giant block of wool. So what you want to do after you put one, maybe two, three, four, five, ten, it doesn't really matter. You want to just make sure that they can't escape. So you want to fill out the entire body, fill in the top, everything. You want them to be in the body. And then obviously you want lights in there so that you don't have monsters spawning and completely ruining the whole concept. Because if you have a zombie or a spider inside your sheep, it's not going to sound like a sheep anymore. It's going to sound like that. So here you can see I put quite a few sheep in there because obviously you want it to look good. So this is the finished product. Completely done. Just gonna circle it a little bit. And that is how you build a giant sheep in Minecraft. I wanna thank you guys for stopping in and I really hope you guys subscribe both to this channel and to Gamers Rising. It's gonna be a great